Inside a black hole, time might run backwards, loop endlessly, or even stop completely. These are actual scientific theories about what happens when you cross the ultimate cosmic boundary. Think about it. Places where you could potentially witness the entire future of the universe unfold in mere seconds. Or regions where space-time twists so severely you might encounter yourself coming and going. Black holes are nature's laboratories for testing the absolute limits of physics as we know it. When a massive star dies, it can collapse under its own gravity, creating a point of infinite density called a singularity. The gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape once it gets too close. That point of no return is called the event horizon. It's not a physical surface, but rather a boundary in space-time. Cross it and you're never coming back out, at least according to classical physics. Now, Einstein showed us something profound with his theory of general relativity. Gravity isn't just a force pulling things together. It's actually the curvature of space-time itself. The more massive an object, the more it warps the fabric of reality around it. Time is part of this fabric, and just like space gets distorted around massive objects, time does too. This is called time dilation. Time literally ticks at different rates depending on how strong gravity is where you're measuring it. Near Earth, this effect is tiny. Your head ages nanoseconds faster than your feet because it's slightly further from Earth's gravity. But near a black hole, these effects become extreme. So our big question is, what happens to time once you cross that point of no return? What does reality look like in a place where the rules of physics are pushed to their absolute limits? Let's start with theory number one, time freeze. Imagine you're safely observing from a distance as your astronaut friend approaches a black hole. As they get closer to the event horizon, something bizarre happens. They appear to slow down. Not because they're actually moving slower, but because the light carrying their image to you is getting increasingly stretched and delayed by the black hole's gravity. Closer and closer they get to the event horizon, and slower and slower they seem to move, until eventually they appear completely frozen at the boundary, like a paused video. But it's not only the stretching and delaying of the light that's causing them to appear frozen. It's also fundamentally because time itself genuinely runs slower near intense gravity relative to yours, as predicted by Einstein's general relativity. So from your perspective, they never actually cross the event horizon. It's as if time itself has stopped for them. This happens because the light carrying the information about their crossing gets trapped in the black hole's gravitational well, taking longer and longer to reach you until the point where light from the exact moment of crossing would never escape at all. But here's the mind-bending paradox. From your friend's perspective, nothing special happens at the event horizon. They cross it in a finite amount of their own time, completely unaware they've passed the point of no return. So which is reality? Are they frozen forever, or did they cross? The answer is, both are true. This isn't just a visual illusion. It's a fundamental feature of how space-time works near black holes. Einstein's equations predict this bizarre dual reality. It's a perfect example of how relativity tells us there's no single universal time that everyone agrees on. But what happens if we follow our friend past the event horizon? That leads us to our second wild theory. Once our astronaut passes the event horizon and continues toward the singularity at the center, time dilation becomes even more extreme. Near the singularity, time slows down so dramatically that what feels like seconds to our astronaut could correspond to billions or even trillions of years passing in the outside universe. This concept was beautifully illustrated in the movie Interstellar, where astronauts visit a planet near a black hole and a few hours on the surface equate to decades back on Earth. But near a black hole singularity, this effect would be unimaginably more dramatic. The closer you get to the singularity, the more extreme this time dilation becomes, theoretically approaching infinity at the singularity itself. 
But what if black holes are even stranger than that? Some physicists believe that in certain types of black holes, time might not just slow down, it might loop back on itself. Not all black holes are created equal. When massive stars collapse while spinning, which most stars do, they create what's called a Kerr black hole, a black hole that rotates. These spinning black holes warp space-time in even more extreme ways, potentially creating paths through space-time called closed time-like curves, essentially a path through space-time that returns to its starting point, not just in space, but in time as well. If you could somehow follow one of these paths, you'd eventually return to the same moment you started. Think Groundhog Day in space. You might experience the same events over and over again, or even encounter earlier versions of yourself. These time loops emerge from solutions to Einstein's field equations for rotating black holes. Physicists like Kip Thorne have spent careers studying these mathematical possibilities. Deep inside a rotating black hole, beyond the event horizon but before the singularity, there could exist a region where these closed time-like curves become possible. In such a region, the normal rules of cause and effect break down completely. Events could influence themselves, creating paradoxes that challenge our fundamental understanding of reality. But perhaps black holes aren't just cosmic dead ends. Some theories suggest they might be cosmic doorways. In the 1930s, Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen discovered that the mathematics of general relativity contained a fascinating possibility. Black holes might connect to white holes through cosmic tunnels called Einstein-Rosen bridges, or what we now call wormholes. While black holes only allow things to enter, never to leave, white holes only allow things to exit, never to enter. They're like the cosmic opposites of each other. This raises an intriguing possibility. What if falling into a black hole could lead to emerging from a white hole, possibly in another part of our universe, another time, or even another universe entirely? If this is true, black holes wouldn't destroy information, they'd transport it. Time inside the wormhole connecting the two would behave in ways we can barely comprehend. You might enter the black hole in 2025, but emerge from the white hole in 3025, or perhaps 1025, or maybe even in a parallel universe where time flows differently altogether. However, there's a catch. Most physicists believe these connections would be incredibly unstable, collapsing instantly unless held open by some form of exotic matter or negative energy density, something we've never observed. Other theoretical work suggests that quantum effects might naturally create these connections between black holes and white holes, allowing information to escape in a completely different space and time. So these are only theories, and no one knows which one is actually right, and we may never know directly, since anyone who crosses an event horizon can't send information back. But that doesn't mean we can't test these ideas. Astronomers are using increasingly sophisticated tools to study black holes from a safe distance. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope gave us our first direct image of a black hole shadow. In 2022, we captured Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of our own galaxy. Gravitational wave detectors like LIGO are capturing the ripples in spacetime created when black holes collide giving us unprecedented data about these mysterious objects. Among physicists, time freeze and infinite time dilation have the strongest support, as they follow directly from Einstein's well-tested theory of general relativity. But the ultimate answer may require a complete theory of quantum gravity, the holy grail of modern physics that would finally unite Einstein's work with quantum mechanics. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.